Hello and welcome to my second Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to make a wine glass and then have water pouring into that and you're going to learn how to model a wine glass, obviously, and uh, the clear texture and then also fluids. So let's go into front view, um, delete our default cube, add mesh plane, rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees, then go into edit mode, delete three of the vertices, then select this last vertice and move it up about there. Um, you're going to want when you do this a background image of a wine glass and if you don't know how to do that you would go here load background image use image load then you would find wherever you had it but I currently don't have internet on this computer so I can't do that so I'm gonna try to work from scratch here and see if I can get it down it's probably gonna look awful but bear with me here so once you have this vertice you're just gonna s extrude it along the outside of the wine glass and like I said you have a background image that's great but I don't then just keep extruding it along the edge of the wine glass I really wish I had that um, Yeah, once you have this shape, that should look a lot better than mine, of the wine glass, um, you're going to do the bottom part, And then select these two vertices here and press F. And then you're going to move the whole thing over. Move this vertice over here so it's perfectly straight. Move the thing here, and then you're going to go down here to these buttons, and spin, oh, I'm sorry, first go to top view, then spin, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Map cursor grid. There we go. Now faces we're going to go and delete just the ones on the top. So that when we look in there, we have our wine glass. And I want to delete this thing right here. But I can't for some reason. Apparently that's a lot of lines or something. That I was a little bit off in something. Mm. Delete. Hopefully you had better luck with that. If not, then sorry about that. This is not working. Um, let's look at how many birds. Wow. Wow. Delete 
vertices. There we go. Now that we have our wine glass, we're going to go into the shading tab. Um, and we're going to go ray mirror. Let's bring this up a little bit. That's all you have to do with the mirror. Ray transparency is a little bit more difficult. Bring it up about there. Then turn the alpha down. Then shaders. Reflection up a little bit. Specularity up quite a bit. And hardness up a little bit. So when we you render the current frame. We have a glass looking wine glass, and since my computer is slow, I'm not going to keep doing that. Let's make it smooth now by going back to the editing tab and setting smooth. That might not have been a good idea. Let's see. Guess I am going to render the whole wine glass. Um, that works. It might look weird in the end, but, oh, huh. I will leave that for now. Um, then we're going to deselect that, go back to front view, right about here, we're going to add a circle. Fill the circle. Make it smaller and move it over here and then rotate it on the Y axis a little bit. Um, we're going to make this circle. We're going to go into the object tab and then click this little thing here. Go to fluid, click fluid, inflow. Um, shell velocity we want it x negative 2 or something like that it might not work but for now just put it around there then we're going to add a cube wireframe move it up to the bottom of the glass then we're going to go make the cup here an obstacle shell and then make this box the domain and let's make the background white in the shading all right now we do we're going to make wine pour into our cup so let's make it reddish and then once again put some mirror on it ray transparency turn the alpha back down but this time we aren't going to turn the alpha down all the way because we still need some of that red in there and then again reflection up specularity up and hardness up a little All right.